Hey fellows, so we're here to present our project, Fellow Book, which is a data stream of every fellow in the fellowship, uh, made available through a chatbot in the official MLH Discord server and through a picture-based directory app, including search functionality. We are Shubham from the UK, Kenneth from Nigeria, and myself, Ivan, from Argentina. We are computer science students um, from the uh, UCL, the University of the People, and the Argentine University of Business, respectively. So, uh, the problem we found is simple, and it concerns just about everyone in the fellowship, and it is this. How do we keep track of 120 fellows, mentors, organizers, and so on, along with their own nationalities, technologies, projects, parts, interests, even how popular they are, and of course, what they look like. And so, we had to get a solution called Fellowbook. With Fellowbook, we want to make it easy for you to look up everyone at all times, and this is meant both for the laziest of you and for the most diligent of fellows. For the lazy, you can just type uh, exclamation mark, give me username, and our Discord chatbot will answer you in milliseconds, operating 24 seven, so that the data you need is right at your fingertips as you're chatting away. And for the diligent, we also offer a full-blown picture-based directory app, including search functionality, so that you can have access to the entire collection at all times throughout the summer, and possibly even in upcoming editions of the fellowship. So you've all probably been wanting to see a demo, so I'm just gonna show you a demo of our Discord bot. So this is the MLH Fellowship Discord um, server. And as you can see, I can type in something like, give me uh, Evov if I want to get Ivan's de details, because that's his GitHub username. As you can see, a little card pops up saying which pod he's in. So we're all in the same pod, distributed dodos. And you can't forget the you know, mysterious popularity points, um, which you can experiment with and see who, who gets hired. If I want to get Kenneth, I can do um, this. And, I can, and because that's his username, I get details about him. Uh, I think Kenneth is now going to show you the web app. Okay, so for the web app, um, so this is the web app. Um, it's being uh, integrated with a GitHub authentication uh, API, and you must be a fellow for you to log in. So when you click on the login with GitHub, then you request for your authorization, and then you click on authorize. Okay, so after you have been authorized, it will now take you to the uh, failure book web app. So in the failure book web app, this is uh, the 124 fellows that is present. Now, if you watch, you'll see that uh, we have some designs for the styling. Once you type, uh, lazy Robista. You see the level fellows that are in the group Lazy Robista. You can also search using names. You can search for Swift. Oh, so that's it. And you can also search using uh, usernames or probably any information possibly. And when you hover, you will have uh, the bio, the location, the followers, and the following. And then if you click on the GitHub icon, it will take you to the person's GitHub profile, where you can have a view of the person's GitHub profile. So that's our web app. Thank you so much, Kenneth. So we decided to split up the project basically, yeah, into three sections, three of us, and to make use of the following open source technologies. For the Discord bot, I basically went with Node.js, Discord.js, and Heroku in order to build and host an interactive script that on demand uh, receives commands from the fellows in the MLH Discord server and responds with data provided by the backend in the form of a minute report of sorts. Um, Heroku was amazing in allowing us to operate 24 7 with fast response times, uh, completely free of charge. And for the back end, I use the GitHub API, AWS Amplify, and an AWS DynamoDB database. And these three technologies were extremely useful for sourcing, storing, and sorting all the data about every fellow, including authorization headers and some other finicky details. They provided the data very re reliably. The GitHub API, in particular, in particular, was super useful. I discovered the version 4 GraphQL API also let us get the exact data we wanted when fetching per user information. So I found it very intuitive and it had a great developer experience. For the front end, um, I used React.js to do the front end, and, um, which is integrated with Babel. 
and then it has a bit of yeah, and it has a bit of uh, styled component for the styling. So that's just it. And for the project as a whole, we use the GitHub flow, focusing on filing issues, creating branches, commenting, answering comments, committing frequently, and reviewing each other's code using pull requests. And we also hacked together a colorful readme file, which you'll find in our GitHub repository. Okay, so um, that's for the our project, MLH fellow book um, for the first round of the hackathon. Thank you very much. And you can find us at mlhfellowbook.herokuwrap.com or find the 0.2.1 fellowbook repository in the MLH Fellowship Organization. Um, thanks to all our fellows who have been playing around with our bot already and beta testing it. Thanks to our pod for encouragement. Thanks to GitHub for providing an easy collaboration interface. Our mentor, Ian Jennings, for helping out with the Discord server permissions. And of course, thank you all for listening. <laughs>